Hello everybody, welcome to our bedtime story session with me Jane at St Helens Libraries and of course Teddy's with us as well. We can't have a bedtime story without Teddy. So I'm really excited today because it's Pyjama Rama Day. It's brilliant, have you heard of it? I've been in my pyjamas all day reading stories, waiting to go to bed. I spent the whole day doing that, it's been fantastic. Pyjama Rama is all about celebrating bedtime stories. It's fantastic. So you can always get involved, have a look at the Book Trust website, it's fab. So we all love our bedtime stories. It's so important, isn't it, to have one before we go to bed because it gets us all nice and relaxed and ready for bed. And don't forget, you can find out the tips on the Book Trust website, can't you? So, Pyjama Rama and Bath Book Bed, both on the website. Brilliant. So, shall we get started? And of course, we always have some rhymes before we have our bedtime story, don't we? So, what shall we do today, Teddy? I know Teddy wants to join in, so let's sing our song about our teddy bear. Have you got your teddy bear or your favourite toy with you? Because they're lovely to snuggle up to getting ready for bed, aren't they? Okay, we'll sit Teddy here. Ready? My teddy bear has two eyes, two eyes, two eyes. My teddy bear has two eyes. I love my teddy bear. My teddy bear has one nose, one nose, one nose. My teddy bear has one nose. I love my teddy bear. My teddy bear has two feet, two feet, two feet. My teddy bear has Two feet, I love my teddy bear. My teddy bear has two ears, two ears, two ears. My teddy bear has two ears, I love my teddy bear. Oh, I love singing that song just so I can give him a cuddle. <laughs> now then, you sit there, Teddy because we're going to do two little dicky birds. Have you all got your little dicky birds ready? Just like me, are you ready? Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter, come back, Paul. Did you like that one, Teddy? Did you? Let's do another one with Teddy. And we'll do round and round the garden. Are we ready? Round and round the garden, like a teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle you under there. <laughs> he likes that one, shall we do it again? Ready, are you all ticklish? Round and round the garden, like a teddy bear. One step, two step, and tickle you under the... <laughs> You're ticklish, aren't you? <laughs> Let's put you down there. Shall we sing our song about getting ready for bed? I've got my new pyjamas on today, because it's pyjama rama. I thought I'd treat myself, so I'm really, really excited. So, let's sing our song about getting ready for bed. Ready? This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth, we do this every evening. This is the way we brush our hair, brush our hair, brush our hair. This is the way we brush our hair. We do this every evening. This is the way we read our book. Read our book. Read our book. This is the way we read our book. 
we do this every evening and then this is the way we go to sleep go to sleep go to sleep this is the way we go to sleep we do this every evening that was good wasn't it tell them how to get ready for bed now now then we're all excited to have our story aren't we so what have we got today we're going to read this story called grobble chops it's being read with kind permission from Elizabeth Lurd and Jenny Lucanda, with kind permission from Tiny Owl Press. Let's see what the story is about, shall we? Amir didn't want to go to bed. No, he shouted, I won't, no. Why not, said Dad. Your bed's all cosy and warm and look, Teddy's waiting for you, right there on the pillow. But I'm scared of the dark, said Amir. There might be a, 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 a what, said Dad. A monster, whispered Amir. He might come in the night and he might have huge teeth and growl like a lion. He might even try to eat me. Well, said Dad. If he does come, show him your teeth and growl even louder, like a tiger. You can really scurry when you try. Amir, you'll terrify him. But what if he's not scared? What if he doesn't run away, but just stands there and then jumps on me and eats me up? If he tries any of that nonsense, said Amir's dad, You'll call for me and I'll come running in with my frying pan and I'll shake it at him. That'll do the trick. But what if my monster's got a dad too, said Amir. And what if he shouts for him and if he comes and his frying pan's bigger than yours and he eats you up while the little monster's eating me? In that case, said his dad, We'll call for your mum and she'll come with her big umbrella and she'll flap it in the big monster's face and he'll be so scared he'll go down on his knees and beg for mercy. But suppose the monster's dad isn't scared at all and suppose he fights my mum and tries to eat her while the monster's mum is trying to eat you. Oh, I don't think that would happen, said his dad. Grown-ups, even grown-up monsters, like arguing more than fighting. Fighting's too tiring, especially in the evenings. So while your mum and I are arguing with the grown-up monsters, you and the little monster can go off and play. Amir thought about this. I don't know how to play with a monster, he said. I don't know what sort of things he likes doing. You know what, said his dad. I think he'd like it if you showed him your toy cars. Poor little monster. I bet he hasn't got any of his own. And, said dad, when the grown-ups see how nicely you and your little monster are playing, We'll stop arguing and sit down for a cup of coffee to talk things over. Amir picked up his teddy and held him tight as he climbed into bed. I won't let my monster touch teddy, he said bravely. Of course not, said dad, but he won't want to. He'll be too busy having fun with your toy cars. He kissed Amir goodnight and went out of the room, leaving the door open so that a bit of light could come in. Oh, I forgot, he said, putting his head back round the door. Has your monster got a name? Yes, said Amir sleepily. He's called Grobble Chops and he likes my pickup truck best. There we are. What a lovely story, really 
nice one to get us ready for bed. Don't you be playing with your monsters today. I bet your monster's really tired too. So it's time to say good night. It's the end of Pyjama Armour and we'll see you next time. Night night.